Uh, oh, okay, the camera's working. Hello, everyone. Hiya, it's Michio Dai. Thank you for coming to the stream. I It's a little later. It's 30 minutes later than our usual time, 10 o'clock. And uh, sorry for, for the delay. Um, you guys should be able to hear me. Yeah, the camera kind of gonked out again. Um, I always do the thing where I prepare like 15, 30 minutes beforehand and like, okay, everything's working. I go to take a sh really short nap and then um, the camera just seizes for some reason. I don't even, I don't even touch the cables. I don't even touch the cables. They're all at the back. They're all at the back very not not neatly but i just threw them all the way at the back but they don't touch or anything unless unless maybe a housefly touched and landed on one of them and then like i guess i guess that's all it takes or it's just that technology is really really dumb earlier on at work i had a bunch of weird problems with unity like um it was just I don't know, it's just some sometimes programs just like they have a weird priority system in their script. And like I think what was happening with my camera was that it was prioritizing the the USB port that had the switch plugin plugged into. So I don't know what's up with that. I really don't. It's like sure you have the priority, but why is my entire webcam gone it's just gone from the device manager it's just just cease to exist i don't know why i don't know if it's just because i have vtube studio on i i left it on i left vtube studio on and like maybe it just fizzled out or something uh who knows technology is has still has like years to catch up to doing whatever just makes common sense um i hope everyone's doing okay i hope everyone had an enjoyable yesterday a public holiday it was at least in um at least where we are at, le at least where we are in, S in singapore um Gosh, the yellows on the horns. I make them look so dark now. Well, I try to saturate it a bit more. It's closer to this kind of yellow, I think. Alright. Uh, about there, maybe a little bit more of just put this dab one here um yeah so um i spent yesterday's morning uh out with my parents um we went to the rail corridor i went to the rail corridor for the first time i forgot that it was like oh this place is really close to bukitima which um, my family used to go a lot to us uh, when when I was like way younger, um, and it used to be our like our usual hiking and exercising spot. That and McRitchie, I guess. But oh man, it's been so long since I've been to McRitchie or Bukitima for that matter. Um, so yeah, so there's this, this new place, newish. I call it pretty new. Um, rail corridor. Like new as in like I feel like it's just it started like since a few years ago and that's it. Uh yeah, so we went through some boardwalks, we crawled climbed up the hill, we visited two of the quarries there. Uh two nearby quarries. I didn't know that there was two quarries. Um Yeah, so there's a lot a lot of rock that we saw, I guess. A lot of grass and plants that we saw. Um, I get a lot. I, I, I actually, it wasn't my priority for the trip. I was just going to go on the trip anyway. Um, but then when we went there, I was like, huh, wait a minute. I could use this. Yeah. 
So I took a picture of a lot of the plants there. Like, a lot of these plants actually do appear there. Well, I say a lot, but like, I think it's a lot of the stuff at the back. Um, so I've changed. I think mean, after going through all the plants and stuff, I don't have me on my PC. I basically just drew them out. I just painted them out like this way. Um, this is actually the method that I was thinking like how I originally would have done plants. Whereas I would try to paint a silhouette and then I'll just paint over. But the thing is that I wouldn't have any idea of what's going on. So at the very least, I'm doing it for the plants that's way in the back. And you pretty much just see the silhouettes or just very blurred versions of them. So I'm also changing up the coconut trees. I just feel like this... Yeah, these big leaves are just not... They're, they're too a bit too cartoony. I, I kind of want to just do like just this. This looks more... This looks more like proper. And I got a reference for this, like good reference for this. So yeah. And these plants and I think what like it turns out like I just realized that I um I tend to forget to look at the base of the plant you know when you look at the plants you look at the leaves and the flowers and stuff but you don't look at where they originate from and like um it's good to know because then when i was drawing these i was like thinking like how the hell do they connect to the ground so i have them hidden up by some other leaves and stuff most of the time when you go out on the outside it's like it is hidden by leaves and stuff but yeah i don't draw like where they originate from a lot of times when I went out, even when I went out, I know I tried to take notice like, okay, where do they actually sprout from? They just, they just sprout from the dead fallen leaves and like, what do they, what do they call that? Not hummus. Hummus? Hum? Husks. I don't know. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, so it's, it's a lot of like, basically a lot of undergrowth. That they have um that like the all, all all of these plants will be peeking out of also i didn't really decide on like a proper light source i did try to have a light source but like i mean for the new year at least um i'm i mean it's just the usual like okay yeah you have the i didn't really want to think that much i'm like okay so it's just the sun that's it it's just the sun So I guess this is just a light source, just one light source and like maybe have some reflective from god knows where. Uh, but yeah. I, If I remember the name of the... the okay, you know what? It's, it's not important. I don't need to remember the name of that. Um, but yeah, bottom, bottom line is just... Uh, it's good to know what... How, how the plants originate from and shit. Sometimes when I draw hairs also, like I get that when I'm like drawing, drawing, drawing the strands and then I'm just like, but where does it originate from? And it gets kind of annoying. Uh... There's a bunch of, um, A little unfortunate that I'm streaming now because it coincides with some friends who are streaming. One is like Force VT. I know I'm like shilling them, but like and like I don't know if, if you want to go to their streams, like you can uh, because Force VT is actually playing um, Wuthering Waves for the first time. Blind run, blind run. I am blind as hell. I don't know anything about Wuthering Waves as well. Uh, Mince is, was did express an interest in it. Um, I don't know what it is but from what i've seen at least from the launch trailer it does look fairly similar to 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 gen get the gen the gen the gendo ikari um yeah so i i don't know is is gendo ikari a mortal enemy oh yeah how could he do that to shinji Oh, what a terrible dad. Um, 
yeah i i can only say i've like the launch trailer appeared as an ad on twitter and i like saw like 10 seconds of it without and it just, it just lost interest um i don't have much of an interest for it yet there's probably a punchy girl in there but um yeah there probably is isn't it? yeah that's 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 a trope now i guess punchy girl girl who punches um, but it's girl who punches and then it's like, you know, just absolutely like punch me. Like, yeah, punch you girl and uh, p -p -p punch me. P -p -p punch me. Um, bangs. Um, huh? Dude, Susia? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no, she has good midriff. Oh, she looks kind of cute. Oh, she's she's the Genki kind of punch girl. And her outfit actually looks pretty cool also. And she's a red hair also. Yeah. And she looks really cute. Yeah, also. I was gonna say, yeah. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah. You mean she, pro she eats prawns? Yeah, I think she's. Yeah. Just... Oh, hell yeah. Three stars. What? Yeah, there's only four and five stars. So... Is that a good or bad thing? I that there's only three of... Right, because I'm thinking like... So... How... It's either... You, you, it's, it's either... It's very binary. It's like either you're good or like... Yes. Right, like it feels kind of that way. Like there's no... Like what I like about Art is that they have five stars and four stars and like five stars are uh five stars can still be good uh like you know how you know everyone knows like six stars are really good in like art nights and i mean like they are the top rarity uh operators in art nights but there's five stars which is in between for like six stars and four stars where they're like they're pretty good you can make them work four stars is where they are um they can be good but you most of the yeah they, like not all of them are winners and like you need to put in like the work for them and stuff uh five stars are like just in between of like both the six stars and like four stars six stars is is very easy like if you put the investments in you're probably that yeah it's gonna be worth your money most probably there hasn't been a tsukinogi for a six star yet who vigil Fucking crack, bro. Everyone's like, everyone's just doesn't know how to use him. He, I mean, he's he's crack, but very situational. But like, he's he's not Tsukinogi level. Um, no, 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 it is okay. No, no worries. Um, even I tried to use him in the final CC, and like, I couldn't use him because it's just. I tried. I tried. I tried. Um. Yeah, so this game not having any um like in between, just binary is kind of weird. Uh-huh. Even uh -oh. if you get like, you know, like some guy who can do like super good skills, if I like, don't really like the cop, like the way he wish, wish, bash, bash, then yeah. Like it, 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 doesn't, it depends more like the way you play. Right. Uh, I, I, I kind of get that. Like, it's like, if I don't like how they play, like, it's kind of like with fighting game characters, you know, it's like yeah. sometimes I'm like, oh, I, sometimes I like, a lot of times I enter fighting games and I'm like, oh, I like this character. And it does, I go in and it does, I, I try them out and I'm like, ugh. Why are the controls? Like, I can't do the controls. I can't put their inputs very well. I, I absolutely suck at this character, that kind of thing. Even though they look so good. And I suck at it. And it just it makes me sad. And so it's, it's like, kind of like this, I guess. In a sense. It's more important. The game play off, and then... Right, and if they say it's like 
Yeah, if they say it's friendly enough that like, oh, um, um, was it like you don't need? I don't know, cause I was thinking like, oh, so how's the power difference between like four stars and five stars, like, um, in the game? Like, if I play a four star that like I actually am comfortable with, will I still suffer because the damage output is just not there? To me, like kind of thing, right? But it's like it's yeah, it's still, it's still early. Like people are having their first impressions and stuff. So, um, I mean, yeah, if anyone's interested and you don't want to come to my, you 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 can leave my stream at the side too, right? I don't know. Um, I'm just drawing. Um, Force BT is doing something more interesting, which is trying out weathering waves for the first time. Um. I, I'm I'm not I I I'm I I don't I mean I'm I'm making myself sound sound like shitting on myself but like I'm I'm just like you know I I just saw their streams and like oh okay okay this this that that's interesting um I mean that could have been me with like um X asterisk but like I just stopped I I never even started um. And yeah, uh, another cool thing is that we have friends who are going to clear tea today, tonight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, I don't want to put the pressure on them, but like, you yeah, know, it's... Anyway, it's... Rate is really better. Wait, it was 1%? Yeah, it was 1%. Yeah. Oh, I only saw the jail things. I didn't even realize it was 1%. It was 1%. Holy crap. Oh, dude. oh my it. god. I mean, there's... I mean, but don't, don't say that to them because I'm pretty sure if they don't clear like today, it'll be very disappointing or so. It's like the same time as like, you know, when we were at us like we were, it was the night where like, you know, we can clear, right? And then we don't clear. And it just felt like super shit after that. I was like, bruh, why? Why did we not clear and stuff? Yeah, it, shit like that could happen. So, um, but if you want to catch them, then you can go find them at I I I, I don't know I I don't know if they are streaming. Yeah, they 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 should be streaming at eleven. I I don't know which one. I'm not chasing them away. I'm just saying like there are alternatives. I'm just giving my friends shoutouts and stuff. I, I I like I I don't know. Um. Ugh. Oh. Clip Studio, your brushes are amazing. Oh my god. Every time I draw something like this, it just feels like, oh, are there, are there, eye, there are eyes too far apart? It's like, all of a sudden, it's like, this whole thing is the nose. Ooh, oh. That didn't happen. Um, yeah, it's it's kind of like you know I, I I get pretty like messed up in the head when I try to think of like drawing things anatomically and anatomically correct, but it's anime and sometimes it just doesn't work, you know. Um, yeah. Okay, this is a bit too hollow. This is where you add in the eyelid. You know, is it? Oh. Gosh, this brush is so useful. This would fade into the skin. It's not that hollow. Um, in fact, this doesn't have to be that sharp. Um. Yeah, or... Oh. Hmm... Oh yeah, wait, be be before I talk about other stuff, yeah, so... Um, yesterday was the public holiday, I went with my parents to the rail corridor and it freaking rained while we were still there. Um, we were on like, probably the last leg of our journey, but the last leg is like... Maybe... Maybe 1km? I don't know, it didn't really feel like 1km, but maybe it was... I, I don't... I don't know, but 
basically we had to like walk in the rain for like 1km I thought like okay maybe it'll be a light shower and it's like no it's just thunderstorm it's just full on you can hear the thunder and stuff and it's like ah my god and it got heavier and heavier uh, and so basically the end result is that one of my like my pair of shoes sport shoes are like just drenched and muddy and stuff and it's just it soaked up all that muddy delicious muddy water and like I'm not putting it into the wash. I'm not putting my socks into the wash. I'm gonna wash it by hand. No way. No, oh, no, man. I can wash the stuff. I have to wash the stuff soon. Yeah. Um. Time to use the shoe whitener. What is that shoe whitener? And why did my camera suddenly? Hello. um like primary school wait what i did not use shoe whitener in prim oh Whoa. okay i think i think it the camera disconnected again and it Connected again. Hello. I have no idea why it does this. In primary school, there's this whitener product to paint over the shoes to make it white, cover up dirt marks. Uh, yeah, my model isn't moving. I don't know why. Uh, wait, what's a whitener that you know about? Oh, uh, I guess maybe there is. Is it Kiwi brand also? Bata sold them? Oh my god. Okay. Um. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Excuse me, camera. Can you? Can you please? Hello? Uh. Uh. Um. I don't know what's wrong with my PC. Or my camera. It's refusing to do anything. Um, I'm going to try to restart VTube Studio. I might disappear. Oh, I am disappeared. Yeah, clips. Yeah, V VTube Studio is absolutely dying. I don't even have like Chrome open, so I don't know what my PC might be processing that's just like shitting itself it's probably nothing it probably is just nothing at all and it's just freaking out uh, okay when I click on camera okay choose camera okay Camera on. Okay. Well, um, if the camera decides to work, and then it will work. I don't know. I need a whitener for my camera for it to work. Um, yeah. If it works, it works. It's fine. You'll just have uh, a very still Michi, I suppose. Not much of a stream right, like that, but... Oh god, what? Uh, hello? Why is everything... Clip, Clip Studio? Hello? Yeah, it's saved. Maybe it's one of those stupid recovery, like... Like, auto-save things. Yeah, I don't know. At the very least, like, um, 
it's kind of a shared thing between like clip studio and photoshop where it's like sometimes like them trying to be like oh yeah we'll auto save your work it will just crash the application entirely it happens i have no okay i what is going on my pc is are you okay are you okay pc I don't know how to understand PC stuff. Um, I mean, if we restart PC, then it's gonna be a real shit. Um, the stream is just gonna be. It's gonna end up as another stream video, which I don't really. I feel very lazy to even deal with. I don't know. Um. I can still draw now. It might be, it it's it's probably not the PC thing, but rather you know Windows trying to give me an update or something where they're like, eh, 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 eh. make sure we push Microsoft Edge on him. Eh, 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 make 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 like close 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 Clip Studio. Eh, 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 eh. No 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 bitches. Yeah, it's 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 I I can still draw. It's fine. But. Okay, what is going on? It's really hanging from time to time. I have no idea why. I don't know if a restart is going to do with, deal with this. Oh, uh, thank you, Kay. Um, Algambar. Huh. I don't know if... Huh. Something's happening. Something is trying to be loaded in, and I don't know what it is. Something is trying to, like. Something's up. Sorry, give me a second. I'm just gonna go through Task Manager, see what's going on. Something's trying to open. Nothing seems suspicious. I mean, OBS Studio is taking up most of the GPU, but it's not terrible. Clip Studio is taking up like an okay amount of memory, maybe? I don't know, one, 1. 1.5 gigs of memory? Um, That's fine. Um, I I can't tell. I'm I'm not I'm not a computer expert, so I really can't tell. If it gets really annoying, then I'm gonna have to restart the stream. It's not even just restarting the com. The com. I have to restart restart the entire stream. Like, uh. It's gonna suck. Hmm. Uh, I don't know. Well, just make sure to save. I don't think my fall for this is very big right now, so it's still fine. Hmm. Honestly, 
if I had to not care about this line, I would draw the... Uh, or I could just don't have this, honestly. Yep. We didn't need that. Uh, oh yeah okay so they've um monoko 55 she she extended the deadline um two days ago like she said okay um she's extending the deadline for her fan art competition till 10th of june um so that's a little bit more breathing room for me i'm still gonna go at it like as much as i can i'm not gonna take that for granted um i'm still gonna try to gun for like the actual deadline which is seven days from now um we'll just see how that goes if i make it i don't make it it's fine i um, we are in the good graces of uh like her good graces where she's allowed deadline extension yay ah uh. and like when she did that i was just like i, I just remember like um about school and stuff and i don't remember like i no we i remember we did have deadline uh at least once there was a deadline uh extension um it's mainly the 3d stuff where like they know like okay you guys are essentially done with your stuff all you need to do is render out and we know as 3d modelers that that sucks because that's just rendering things out and like we already have like such limited resources to like render and all that compared to like um proper corporations out there or something like that um like how we did the 3d last time in our school was that um Okay, actually, this is a bit much. <laughs> Maybe I can... Wait a bit. Um, is that, at least for me, how I did it, uh, was that... Um, there would be some computer labs. There's like multiple computer labs in our school. And we needed the computers to render our stuff, right? So, what I would do is that I would... Um, we would stay late or overnight if it has to be actually i feel like every time we have done it it's been overnight um we stay overnight and i took a hold i i i got control of uh multiple computers and uh, i used the computers like to because i say okay we had to render out a turntable so that's an animation of like the character spinning around or doing certain animations and stuff um we would um no i like basically i would note down what number of frames from to what number of frames i want uh to render on each com and i would make them render things out separately and that's basically like my version of a render farm in the school I know like one friend of ours like actually well i don't know if i don't know if he did did it did it but i did hear that like oh he actually uh got a render farm like sort of people or company or something to like help him render his stuff and i'm like yeah if you're paying to like like for you to like get like a good night's rest and not stay in like the bloody school then yeah uh, good on you that's that's a really smart way to do it that's really smart honestly um yeah so that's the pain that we had to go through when rendering our 3d stuff um so we did have some lecturers who were gracious enough to like give us deadline extensions sometimes there wouldn't be uh most of the time there wouldn't be um and 
Uh, yeah, we had one friend who was actually good at 3D and he couldn't render stuff out and stuff out in time, so he ended up failing the module. And he had to retake it. Um, but I mean, thankfully, he's he's great at 3D, so uh, I think he he did well. He did well the next time around. What sucks is that you know, in our school, is very demanding. It's very it's very painful to fail a subject because if you fail it, um, if it's a very it's a core subject, if you fail it, you would have to re essentially retake the module. Um, a year later with the next year's batch the next generation batch of students basically that's how it went in our school it was and that's why the stakes were so high and that's why we needed uh that pass so very badly and for us to pass the passing grade is 70 70 percent 70 percent um granted i think a lot of the lecturers have been like kind to us and like 70 percent on a normal basis sounds really bad but i feel like um 70 percent is just like oh that's just now the normal thing rather than like oh you have to excel if you have to ex if you excel then you're gonna get the a but yeah um that means that getting an a is extremely difficult in our school Was it A plus or A minus? Yeah. yeah, there was, right? Yeah, there was that even. So, at least A minus was like somewhat feasible. Um, but yeah, um, that was how it be. It do an ouchie. An ouchie. Um... Yeah, so I remembered about that when she said, oh yeah, deadline extension. I was like, yes. I think I was, I'm like, to this day, I'm still like extremely grateful to like our 3D modeling lecturer because um, I was having some troubles with some environmental modeling, basically with handling materials and shaders and like, it was really, really bad. And even the lecturer, when he stared at my screen was like, I was like, do you know how they can fix this? And he's just like, nah, I, I don't know. And like, I was very scared because like, he had the rights to fail me um, for just not doing uh, good enough. But he he gave me, he, he, he let me pass and like, yeah, I, I, I just know. Not a really good one. Yeah, I mean, the, the shit teacher would not, would never. No, no. One is just B or the L. Yeah, yeah. L, 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 L is good. L is, L is amazing. Yeah, yeah. Wait, are we talking about the same L? Then who do you want it? Oh, okay. I thought you were making a joke. Oh, okay. Yeah, he, he takes no L's. Um, our lecturer L, like, um, he's, 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 he's great. Um, like, yeah, since then I just tried to excel as best as I could. I think I just like, you know, I, I eventually like down the line in my work when like things weren't going well, I did, I did get kind of, I, I did feel kind of bad that like, you know, I was failing at stuff because, um, you know, it just felt like I, I kind of want to just... I just want to let him know that like, it it was worth passing me and stuff. You know, I don't really want to like give out the impression that like, yeah, I I got off and like, thanks for the pass. Now I shall slack or that kind of thing. So yeah, I like honestly, that's basically what I've been getting through before before this. And yeah, at some point, I just like you know what I I have to I have to prove him. I have to prove it to him that I'm 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 still good. So, um, 
at least I'm trying here. I'm. It's not like making it known to like him. Like, hey, th this is where I am at now. Because I, I, I don't want him to know where I am at now. At least for this. But industry wise, yeah, probably. I mean, when the time comes, I'm not gonna tell him and you know, that kind of thing. It's just if he knows, he knows, right? At least I don't have to tell him that like you know I'm in a shit company getting shit paid, like underpaid for like six years straight. That kind of thing. Yeah, so yeah. I'm glad where I am now. <sighs> I feel like my shades are all over the place for this. Okay, I don't want to put that much contrast on this. I can leave it first. I feel like I've already made her horn extremely dark uh, not horn she it's not horn it's not horn it's an antenna i keep confusing i think there was one time um you know in year one when we were in school and you know we were still trying to figure out the kinks and like how 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 demanding this school is and like there were basically like some people who basically dropped out on year one um basically that like you know they knew eventually they they got they learned that it's not for them and that's fine Yeah. Yeah. Wait, was it he? Yeah, he or she. Yeah. Wait, did he last already a final year? I don't remember that guy. I thought I remember there was like someone who like literally like had like he left you know in the class that we were like learning about anatomy and shit. Was it not? I'm oh, sorry. Huh. He actually like really grifted all the way there. Because, like, he, he, he was still getting like, shit. Really think he scored it, he had, like, shit. Oh, I mean, he was there if you guys, right? No, I really don't remember. Oh, wait, you guys took. Wait, I thought you. I no, you took music in Singapore. Yeah. But you said he didn't go US, but he took music. Music, like, after. Okay, after you finished music. Yeah, that's what I was asking. But I'm pretty sure he got held back like I don't know how many years. I can't remember what I'm talking about this. I, I don't know if I'm remembering. Yeah. yeah, but I can't remember how it looks. Because like there's like there's him, there's him and the skater guy. And I don't know if they're the same people. No, they're not. Wait. Mr. K? Mr. K? there's just this guy who like in year one he was like he he skates and stuff and there's like he's he looks like a like a lanky like it's in cell dude also yeah. so i was thinking like is this the same guy because I, I remember him like failing and like appearing again at some point yeah. and like we we're in the ch the changed school already yeah, yeah. i don't remember him skating but i just remember he was like the guy who's like right i don't know about uh i don't know about him because like we don't see him in any of our classes that's why i like don't really know him at all but um but so okay he didn't make it the final year <laughs> Fucking no, it's just that I was surprised that he actually made it at least three years. 
Right. That's the thing. You know what? Wait, how do you know that he took music? Because Gary told us. Uh, I don't know how Gary told I don't remember if Gary told me about it. Asked about it? I don't know. Because it was like during the year when it was it was after the US. Right. Uh uh Yeah, well TLDR there there's just a bunch of people like in all school where it's like they they learn that they you know this is not for them or the kind of thing. Or like they are really not taking it seriously. There's like there were a lot of people who weren't taking it seriously. There's like people who would basically trace stuff in school. And um there was that one guy who was playing FF14 in like one of the lectures. And it was not like a big lecture hall as well. It was like and the Wait, what's the guy doing? Uh J. Like Mr. J. I don't know if he had funny teeth, but John. Stun. Oh my god, you can't <laughs> I'm trying to hint so hard. But okay, if you don't remember his name, that does like Oh okay. Uh yeah. So degrading. That way though, but he was the one who played the Stormblood trailer, like, right? Fucking like. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, but I mean, the, uh, the, there was there was nothing in, happening in the classroom at that time, lah. We were just yeah. we, we were all playing the FF14. Uh, um, the this was back when Heavens, yeah, I mean Stormblood was there really. So yeah. Stormblood wasn't even out yet. Like, they just showed. Like, yeah, and the guy was like showing off like, oh, okay, this look at FF14 and stuff. But the thing is that like, yeah, this is also the same guy who like, it was a lecture, not really a lecture lecture. It was the lecture lecturer like basically giving us our grades and like having our works on the screen and like criticizing like, oh, uh, how like where. Yeah, I think he was. No, no, wait, wait, no, 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 wait, he wasn't. It wasn't before that, but it's definitely is that is that same room. That's why I got it confused. But yeah, it was a okay. It was a lecture, um, but yeah, that that room is just so small. And he sit at the back, and like you know, you normally people would be like, oh yeah, you sit at the back so you can avoid the teacher's gaze. But like, yeah, and like the back is the most lighted place as well. He left the lights on in that place, and it's like the back is where he will look it's very clear what your silhouette is there and like you have the, your, your laptop open and stuff and you're not taking notes and like he's just like <laughs> he's like leave this class and like literally chased him out okay i think that was because like we went i don't remember this uh, yeah. uh... Like... Oh, but i thought the anatomy class was like not anatomy uh the like mr k mr c's class because uh, sometimes we would have like lectures where it's like all the entire co like of our cohort is like in the one room maybe that's how they told his friend i just remember him as the guy who was like oh oh well, i i remember him as like the guy who like got kicked out because like he was like playing ff14 in school and shit he didn't get kicked out. He just became some model student in, in, in. Oh no, he got kicked out of that oh. that class. Yeah, I was just like, bruh, what what are you doing man? Like one university now. <laughs> I mean yeah, maybe. Then like he, he can have that accomplishment. Oh, is that oh um it's so dark. I don't think I need it to be that dark. Uh, yeah. I mean, admittedly, right. Um, 
back in my tertiary education, I like poly, I played Monhan while in the lecture. I was playing with my friends the Monhan on PSP and I was and that's what we were doing. So that was that. I was not taking it seriously because it's a programming class and like if I listen to it I'll fall asleep or I have no idea what's going on. And that's that's me being a delinquent playing Monster Hunter. Yeah. It's really shit. Um it's really it's really rude of me. I don't I I I if I see the lecture again, I don't know how to face him. I managed to pass the class, but that's cause um like I, I kinda just used very simple code to get through that class. God with this orange I can't really tell what's going on here. the days of studies yeah honestly i'm glad to be out of the days of studies i i don't really reminisce that much about school because i like our school was in like our university was really hectic and i really was glad to be out of all that it's just that i feel like after school I was really burnt out and like I basically got into a slump where like even though my work was like really shit and I really needed to move on and find a new place I was I was just extremely demotivated I was just extremely burnt out and it's just like you know I was just like I kind of just want to rest after like four years of hell <sighs> Like I, I was thinking, I was so glad when it's like when I got like I that's that's why I would take any opportunity, even though like oh this like this company isn't so great, and I was getting underpaid, they were still willing to take me in is one thing, and another thing is that like I'm still getting paid nonetheless, so I saw that as just like you know I'm just taking it as it is, that kind of thing, and I think I I got stuck with that like for a long time. Um, until you know eventually it just came to the point where you know I'm, I'm just unhappy with all this and I want to do my own thing because yeah I can't do my own thing at work anymore um, because when I think about it um, our school our university I wouldn't say they really they didn't tell us what to do um, like maybe the first year was pretty rigid but that's because we had to learn the basics of like anatomy and it's a lot more on the technical side i feel later on things yeah i mean 3d is also very technical later on things kind of um okay i kind of made that part extremely bulbous i don't make that um Like, afterwards, it got better as years gone by. Like, even the projects that we did, it's not like they stopped us to do... Like, they will advise us and like, okay, you guys are overreaching, don't try doing this, that kind of thing. That's the most that they really say. In the most part, like, it's kind of a really good school where, like, you know, you get a lot of chances to do a lot of things. Because where I came from when in poly, 
our art lecturer would tell was of the thought that like you know don't don't draw anime don't draw anime or all that kind of thing and so i just got it in my head that like you know i can't draw anime or if i want to draw anime i have to make it like look like art germ style which was like back in the day that time it was the thing that was popping off um it was like oh anime and real duh, duh. yeah now i'm cringing at that point in time i i'm now i'm just like you know i'm just gonna draw whatever i i, I freaking want yeah uh that's a name i haven't heard in a while yeah it's true i actually don't know yeah he, he did nfts and that's the last thing i've heard that's that's the last thing i've heard of him like he's he's definitely being like commissioned to still do comic art and all that kind of thing because he's good at his craft um but yeah the nft thing is the last thing i've heard of him and i don't need to hear anything more of him um the most of all i've heard of him is just like you know we have friends and stuff who uh attended this not is it his school no it's he's a lecturer there he's not it's not exactly his school um yeah i just feel that like people who have gone through his lessons when I was going through Dojima, when I go through like uh, artist alleys locally, um, it's very telling when I can tell like you must have went through his like his lesson, right? Like 3D sense, yeah. Like it's it's very it's very clear like when I see like artists and I'm like oh yeah you you paint in his style or that kind of thing it's really it's really just like him so there's like i don't hear of art gem anymore but like there are people who have adopted his style and stuff and like that's kind of why i didn't want to um i didn't want to like go into these kind of schools that was specialized like um like say even like if it was yeah, no, I mean, I'll, I'll be hesitant to like join even like friends's like art school or that kind of thing because, um, like if I was getting a lesson that wasn't graded, like on online class basically, that I'm not really being graded and stuff, then like maybe I will be okay. If I'm being graded, sometimes I might feel that, um, you know, I'm. I have the mindset where like okay i need to do what was taught to me i'll do it by the book and so i end up picking up this artist style that like they were teaching me and stuff so um mm, yeah that's 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 for me i guess is that like i i didn't want to fall into that trap where i might end up um picking up the the lecturer's style and like just calling it a day you know because it's part of the grades part of what what makes me like uh pass and stuff um yeah so in that sense i did i in hindsight i like that our university kind of allowed us to do mostly do what we want um there was a friend of ours who wanted to do a a pretty stylish version of um a 3d project animation and like he didn't the lecture that he got was a lot more strict and basically he didn't get to pass because that lecturer felt that like that stylistic way is not was not good enough I mean like maybe the friend didn't do well enough because it's like we what we kind of lost out when we were learning uh 3d in our time was that i don't think we got to learn too much about shaders which is after working in the industry and all that like shaders is something that's extremely important with making your sh stuff look good you can model the crappiest shit ever but like with a good shader and material and lighting and stuff 
you will go that piece will go far like no matter what i mean okay granted that like to have good lighting and like um stuff and make the most of those kind of shaders and all that you do need a good model with good topology and all that um you can't just have like a very low poly model like and have it work off lighting like as well as a high poly model for example you know um yeah so i think that's like give and take you know um like the lecture might be in the right there like might also be like basically like um our friend over overreached basically and just couldn't pull it off i feel like that's basically what happened but i got like the the good lecturer like i overreached but he was like it's it's okay i like i see i see the effort that you put in and like i'll give you the pass that kind of thing like that's basically it but like this guy is like he's like his thought process is very binary i feel like this guy's a robot that's why there's so many nicknames for this guy and like he revels in it uh Ah, uh, ba 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 ba. Yeah, when I look back at like my previous works in school, I do look at them pretty fondly. Even though some of them like looks like crap, uh, like right now, like I would say, like you know, I did have fun like concepting these things. Hold on, I I do have to. You know what? Yeah, that looks good. That looks good. Nose. A nose. Not much to do there. It's just, just a nose, honestly. Uh, it's, it's a nose. I could do the thing where, you know, you put a little tiny highlight over here. Mm -hmm. And then it will look neato. I guess. Do -do -do -do. Do -do -do. It's 11 now. You're gonna tune into their stream? Or are they streaming? Or are they even on now, actually? Oh, they are. What am I that? Hmm. Um, is there anything else to talk about school? I mean, the only thing that I'll reminisce about school is that, like, you know, the food in the canteen and, like, student rates and shit. And, like, how cheap the food, like, like KFC was. Well, KFC wasn't that cheap, but, like, it's cheaper than outside here or something, bruh. Okay, her nose being extremely defined is kind of throwing me off. It looks nice when I zoom in, but like, it's kind of... I need a... I need a... Ugh. Hmm... Okay, um, I think I'll color the, um, I'll color in the eye whites and teeth. Um, Oh yeah, so 
yeah i wanted to talk about like live service games so because like um i talked about this on the previous stream but like i'm i thought of getting back into reverse 9 1999 um i just want to talk about live service games like in general for a bit because i'm kind of like lamenting that um i just feel like i have extremely like it's not that i'm not motivated to play certain games nowadays but like more like um that i'm lamenting that i don't have i don't realistically have enough time to play all the games i want like live service games wise and stuff um because every live service game ff14 included has um has dailies and weeklies and stuff that you have to keep up on you know and it's basically the to reward you for putting in the time to play the game and it's it's a nice loop it's a nice loop i like dailies and weeklies and stuff is nice and it makes sense um i'm not faulting any of the games for this i'm basically lamenting that like you know these are all good games and like when i saw wuthering waves come up and stuff and like um what afk jur uh, journey um and like ff14 like catching my interest again it's like they are all they're all good games they're all probably good games and all that it's just i when i try to plan out in my head like how my day would go like how many hours do i need to sleep how many hours do i need to set aside for stream how many hours i need to set aside for like my own thing and like will i ever have time to play any of the games that i have on backlog that kind of thing and it's like it's not realistic to be able to play all of these live service games i'm already i'm already i i, I felt kind of burnt out you know when i was going through reverse 1999 and art nice at the same time and um both games are great it's i get the burnout it's like for the dailies and stuff like and this is not mentioning anything about like the gachas as well um i for the most part i'm a very free to play player i've not really the most that I've, that I've really spent on is like monthlies on like art nights and like maybe if i need to top up original night prime for like certain skin or that kind of thing then yeah i have um for reverse i've bought the jukebox a couple of times i bought the the it's the only skin i bought what was diggers what the fuck all right that's weird um yeah i didn't really need to i haven't really spent spent on like actual rl money to for gacha -ing. so i'm at least good in that aspect but like it does feel very um tight you know when i'm thinking about like art knights like oh, okay who's the next banner and stuff and i think about like okay is there any other characters from like any other video games that i want to like any other live service games that i want to gacha for um yeah um hold on give me a second i don't wanna okay Oopsie. Uh, okay, now I'm making a teeth look like absolute steel. That's kind of scary. Um, let's not do that. I think we can just have a little bit. Just a little tinge of the purple shade yeah that's all right ah 
um yeah so like yeah you know regarding f14 i haven't played ff14 in what feels like like you know seriously like for like a year i think i'm pretty sure it's been a year no but like before even touching like when i when i went to play uwu it's like it's not like i was playing to like do any of the dailies or anything like that i was just going in just for uwu like that's it i i wasn't playing for any tomes i wasn't like trying to clear credit like like the weeklies i wasn't trying to do island sanctuary like i've not played ff14 like properly for a year i've just been giving them my money and um that's why i was thinking like whether i wanted to stop after i finished dawn trails msq also wow all this time and like my webcam is still refusing to work Mwah. what the hello lucky what the wait Oh wait no! For some reason, I thought wait. You thought she was in. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why she. Would... She you. Oh yeah, yeah. Weird. Weird. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why I thought Lucky was like in the T raid with them. I I'm sorry. I'm just like, oh yeah, Lucky's raiding. Like Lucky's always raiding. <laughs> Hello, Lucky. Thank you for coming to the stream. I'm sorry, my model is absolutely not working today. Um, so that's shit. But I hope you enjoy the art and me talking and also they are clearing tea tonight. They better Woo! They already I mean if they're they're gonna go to phase four already. Yeah, Lucky's in Taipei. Oh Lucky's in Taipei? Yeah she Oh Oh yeah, I did see that you went Oh Yay Yay for art. I hope you're enjoying yourself in Taipei. Oh and eating all the good food. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is Lucky the outgoing type? Is does Lucky go to like hike and stuff and like travel around? Do you do that, Lucky? Because I remember hiking up like like a mountain in Taipei and I was like, oh well, not a mountain, it's like a like it's like big it's basically a Bukit Timah hill, that kind of thing. And I was like, that was so that felt nice. Especially because like the Taiwan weather is like it's so good. It's like that nice in between where it's like not too cold and not too hot that kind of thing at least for me like if i had to pick a country besides japan like to go again it would be that i've been going to like three to four places per day in the city does that count well i guess I don't know, cause, no, no, sorry, sorry. Because like my 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 train of thought was like those like um, like extremely outgoing. Like oh, you you grab the backpack and you go hiking and stuff on like the outskirts of Taipei. I like hiking, but I don't a bit don't dare recently because of the earthquakes. Oh yeah, yeah, that would be, yeah, that would be very scary outside. Oh god, yeah, that would be very scary. Oh. Uh, you need like bring a helmet outside for that shit. And even then, right? Ah, <sighs> well then aftershock still ongoing. Oh my goodness, really? Sheesh. Please stay safe, Lucky. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. No Wait, no. didn't respect stillness. <laughs> oh no! You didn't respect stillness. Huh? I blinked and then suddenly six of them were Oh no! Oh no! Lucky, no, it's respect stillness. Even I don't know what stillness is, but like respect it. I mean, it's something that they need to stay still, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I say as a play before you wish. Internet 
Oh, what the? Is it? I mean, maybe. I was thinking like how lag is like my, my stream, but well, I don't really want to open up Chrome to like. Well, I mean, everything is broken in this freaking PC right now, anyway. Uh, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, I was talking about live service games. So yeah, I was thinking of like discontinuing FF14, my FF14 subscription after Dawn Trails MSQ, but um, it's kind of hard too because FF14's content isn't as frequent but i think at least right now because i haven't been properly playing ff14 for a year there's a lot of content for me to like catch up on there's still all the endwalker relics relic weapons that like i haven't done in fact i totally forgot like how the final stage even looks like like it's surprising that like it's so easy but i didn't I didn't gun for it or anything because I just there wasn't really any end game or like any call for it I guess. Um Yeah, we just fell off. Yeah, like the rally weapons didn't look bad. They look like the final result actually looks pretty good, I think, for the most part. But Yeah. Yeah, the Shadowbringers, boss Shadow one, boss Shadow weapons, the final step was just like not great. Like <sighs> Like in the end I can't really defend it. <sighs> I've been doing nothing but frontline since DSR ended. Wow. Well Lucky is Lucky is making use of that sub money, you know? Wow. We're doing nothing. Like, we're basically paying for our house, like, in FF14 now, basically. Okay, like, you that. Okay. It's literally to take screenshots. Yeah, like, pretty much. That's it, like, I've only just did. Yeah. Like, if I go... But, wait, hold on. Sorry. This is gonna look really weird. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. I was on the wrong layer. Rent money. Yeah, if I go back to FF14, there is the... um Variant Dungeons? Oh my god, I can't remember what they're called. Yeah. yeah yeah there's the virian dungeons there's the um island sanctuary there's the the end walker palace of the dead thing um there's the beast tribe um alliance quest for i can't remember if there was a shadowbringers one already yeah but i thought they actually like they went with the end walker one and then they went back to the shadowbringers one during this time um new deep dungeon yeah, yeah yeah that's what it is called oh goodness i haven't completed the second or third of those wait was that a third was that a third variant dungeon yeah who um Matsya. oh it's where, like, it's, what it's, it's, you've seen the screenshot but it's the one where he's like 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 i've been taught to never like like i've lived my life like not not getting angry at people, but these, but these creatures test me or some shit. Oh, I did not see that. That's so funny. Yeah, it's super funny. What the heck? Like, 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 he's literally just like me. Oh, that's good. Um, new deep dungeon is called Eureka Autos, which is so confusing. Yes, I got confused too. Right. Ah. Yeah, and I mean, yeah, I thought thoughts of even doing the normal Eureka is like gone from my head at this point. Um, I feel like I haven't cleared out Bosja entirely yet, like the shop wise, you know. Um, you know, there's ocean fishing. 
I haven't done ocean fishing. Like I, I, I we did it, we did it once and or twice, like when it came out. But afterwards, I just like didn't see much of the use for it, so I didn't do it. But ocean fishing is fun until it's not really. Um, Blunderville is back. Oh, the the Mandeville quest we also didn't really keep up with it. Is that what Blunderville is? Lucky wants the boss jump mounts. Oh god. Buy them on the market ball, at least what you can. Is Blunderville just Mandeville stuff or like I don't know. And like now the poor guy event is back and like you know it's good. But I'm just so tired even like make it rain campaign like you know i always say like uh, i always think like oh i really should do that like i really should like get more mgp i'm like running out of mgp because of all the triple triad shit and like no 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 yeah four guys like the four guys shit sound looks fun i think it's good i mean it's good fun yeah, but it's like, God, no, 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 I'm, I'm not, I'm not really saying that, like, I'm taking a break. It's more like, I don't, like, I'm going to cancel my subscription, you know, like, after Don Trill. Even though, like, there's all these things and stuff. And it's just, like, me lamenting that, like, there are a lot of good games. I just don't really have time for it. Like, since I started work, I've also watched VTubers a lot less. A lot, lot less. I can't keep up to date with them anymore and like there's new ones coming in from niji sanji all that like yeah i i can only pretty much pay attention to like you know their events even i couldn't like keep up with like oh um the, all of the theories like 3d debuts like we just watched petra's one and that's it but we didn't even watch like rosami's one even though i really wanna um yeah, there's a lot. And like, even AR Live, in the end, we didn't watch it. Uh, there's like a lot of things to miss out, like that we missed out on. I mean, also that time also came when I lost my job, so I didn't really feel like spending that much. Uh, rest in peace, former upon us, like birthday merch. God, like around Dojima, like, I see people with like the man I love for now, and I'm like, <laughs> should have bought it fuck it's such a good hat ah <sighs> i'm i'm subbed from ff14 right now actually oh really is it just cause like you have like a standard like vacation in like taipei or something or is it just i mean i guess if you're doing like there's not really anything much for you to do anymore i guess Lucky. Yeah. Well, we'll all be back for Dawn Trail either way. Oh boy. Like, one part that kind of irritates me is that, like, FF14, like, has these events, like, seasonal events, you know, like Easter or everything. And it's just like, oh, you can get this mount, you can get this costume, that kind of thing. And it's just like, ah. <sighs> I could get those outfits, but like, yeah, like I I have to stop this up. I have to stop this up. I can't I can't keep this up. Like I can't keep up like months of sub just waiting for like oh yeah the Halloween event is gonna drop. Oh, it's gonna get in a new outfit that I probably won't even wear actually. Like there's so many seasonal outfits that I'm not even wearing. I haven't won any Halloween outfits for like two, two, two times straight. Like, like in fact, some of the seasonal outfits are like really good, but they're really like a lot of people like them. But a lot, a lot of people like them because like they show like their boots and booty of like their Vieras or something like that. And like I don't have anything to show as the boots and booty. I mean, I have everything to show, but like you don't want to see that, or I don't want to see that, you know. It's gonna look like a. 
blue roll power or some shit, man. Dojima and Taipei. Yeah, yeah, you have yeah, no time to play. Got more latest content done, but I guess Endwalker Mount Farming. Yeah, there's Mount Farming as well. Like even now, so like Yeah, I didn't bother the Shadowbringers one. I just Like the fights are fun and stuff and like if if I had to choose like content that I would stream FF14, it would be those kind of things. And like I haven't even gotten the the blue bird from um No what's it called? No 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 the bird, sorry. No no but the bird oh, itself. Starbird. Star yeah, like, because I said it blue bird, I'm like, that's wrong. I don't wanna call it that. Don't say it like that. Oh, right. I think I remember that. <sighs> I shall hope Mock Station lets me resub in June 8th. Don't know how the C payment issues are going. Oh. That's specifically June the 8th. I don't know why. Yeah, I was like, oh, yeah, it's the 8D. I don't know why she put it in a weird place like that. But no, no it's, it's, it's me. It's not you. It's not you. Um. I mean, you can see how it goes. If anything, the support should be pretty. I mean, I don't like. I don't see anyone talking about it anymore. It didn't seem big enough for FF14 to make a statement about it. So maybe it's or okay. Did are your payments all right? Uh, sorry, I didn't ask this the last time that you came to stream. But like, I remember last time. When we were talking about FF14 stuff, like your payments couldn't get through as well. The support tell people to create a new account. Wait, really? Oh god. No way. Oh no, new square is cons. Oh. Yeah, I finally managed to get it on through. Okay, that's good, that's good, that's good. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, secure that copy, secure the subs, and let's go into Dawn Trails. Trails blazing. Yippee! Yeah. Um, ba -ba -da -bum -ba -bum. Tongue in mouth. Why was the tongue in mouth? You know what? I guess it's just what. Well, yeah. I kind of want to render more of the skin. Um. I mean, I guess I could just, yeah, very easily do this. Uh, it's so weird. I couldn't pay as a guest like I did it did for Iron Walker. Huh. I don't know if I'll have issues in changing my card later this year because that's when it expires. Oh, right. Um. Yeah, who knows? Like, you'd have to reapply for that, right? Uh... Square Enix, just let us... Let's just let us pay you. You, you. you guys need the money, right? We know all your, like, foam stars isn't doing well. We know your foam stars isn't doing well. F14, where's the money's at? Let us pay you. And for me, I'm gonna cancel myself. I'm sorry. Uh, Square Enix doesn't want our money. Yeah, they, they. Square Enix prefers to believe in money that actually doesn't exist. You know, the fake money that's like just digital and like, oh, yeah. Surely, sure, surely the people love, love, are into this kind of thing. Surely they are. Nope. I was on the wrong layer. But it was fine? Question mark? Okay. Um... Ye yeah, I guess, whatever. Um, 
Whatever, man. Uh, no wonder they have billions in losses. Yeah, I mean... They have billions in losses and they're gonna look at him like, Yeah, we're doing fine. Because they're a big company and they're like numbers like this. Just like, yeah, it's fine. Do do do. Do do do. At the very least, like, Squanix hasn't... Wait. Nope, Squanix has shut down st some of their studios outside of Japan, so I... Well, well, whatever I was gonna say was not... Didn't mean anything. It's fine, I don't wanna talk about Square Enix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's bit. Um... Are all the FF16 DLCs out already? Oh, they are already. Okay. Well, that's it for FF16, right? Okay. If F is FF16 on the PC yet? No? Oh. They still want those PS5 sales? Uh, I'm still waiting. Yeah, I'm thinking about like those people who are still waiting on FF16. Like, th there's sure to be a lot of people like waiting. Like, okay, all right. Well, uh, that's just the, 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 don't don't give that impression yet. You know, just 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 let them play. Okay, um, yeah. I don't know if, yeah, I don't know. Uh, PS5 exclusivity is hurting them, honestly. Yeah. Yeah, the, the next, uh, the next Final Fantasy is going to appear on the 3DS, I guess. <laughs> gonna regen it regenerate itself it's like how like how like bayonetta like made the switch from like playstation to like nintendo and then got stuck on nintendo or some shit like monster hunter as well and you know, like yeah yeah yeah, yeah. ff17 is gonna come out and it's just gonna be ff14 but like with like crazier graphics like actually got like graphics and shit like ff16 level of graphics can you imagine going in a party and looking at all those effects mh walls is pc right i think um they did have a pc release set over there on screen i don't know if it's gonna be a simultaneous release i i think they have mentioned that they might make it a simultaneous release I'm not so sure. Traditionally, the Mon Monster Hunter games, or like actually a lot of games in general, is like console first and then PC later. I'm just thinking maybe Capcom did, would decide to like do a simultaneous release because they know like how good PC sales are. PC sales are actually amazing, they are astonishing. Yeah, eventually, I mean. At the same time, maybe they're also fine with like, you know, maybe you can release on console and then on PC and it's fine because like people will buy it again, like me. Worlds is still going strong. Yeah, I played it on the console like in PS4 and then like now I'm playing it on like the Xbox 360, no, the PC. What is that? Xbox? Is Monster Hunter even on the Xbox? Huh. Xbox just as the master chief, I guess. I miss the chief. But I'm not quite... I don't know if I like the thing that he's become. Hmm. PS Vita? Which one? Monster Hunter? Ha <laughs> 
Nah, if you look, if you're thinking like, oh, it's a Monster Hunter game on the Vita, nah, that's Tokiden or God Eater or or Freedom Wars or all those Monster Hunter clones that came out right before Worlds destroyed them and dunked their head in the water. If only what? I do wish they had, but like, they don't have the capabilities that Capcom has la. Unless they were hiding something in secret la. I don't, I don't know. Okay, to be fair, like, just, just DA but Yeah. It's just... Yeah, like I when I talk about game trailers, right? Um, this is like still the same as like how it was like way back then. Uh, I kind of wise like when I wisened up to it that like you know I don't really care much about a game trailer until I see actual gameplay footage because a lot of the times, um, starting from like really way back they had a lot of like concept trailers or like show these trailers and stuff and like basically that's what happened with ff15 where they showed concept after concept after concept after concept and like it's fake gameplay fake gameplay fake gameplay and just like we don't the end result is totally different and that kind of thing like it's not just ff15 like a lot of western games had that as well it was re it was really stupid it's just like each they they bank in a lot on like the marketing and that just like the end result is really not great so that's why when like monster hunter worlds released that first look and it was gameplay it was like holy fuck like that was the best review ever well maybe devil may cry was its best as well i don't know um i'm not a devil may cry like player but i am a fan of the devil cry maybe really? yeah yeah, yeah. you love that da dante from f14 <laughs> i don't know that dante cries a lot <laughs> give me ff13 buses oh my god the first trailer of FF15 is FF13 versus was still the best. It's still the best. It's like, oh my god, like I made like a stupid ass Chunibyo like short novel off of that FF13 versus and like the FF13 versus like trailer made me get back into anime and like made me get back into like, like what is Final Fantasy? What is this shit? And look at like Advent Children and look at like Kingdom Hearts and like I and Kingdom Hearts was a mistake, but like FF7 was not. What? Wait, my loss for what? Oh no, F oh. So sorry that the voting that you give it. Versus 13? But it was really good! No, yeah, I know, but sorry that that had to be no. Considering what came Yeah, considering what I mean, like, I would still say, like, yeah, I had a lot of fun in FF15. I spent so much time fishing and, like, doing all this stupid redundant shit. But, like, the story was just like. Damn. I joined a fan up project of the FF13 versus trailer. Oh my god. Wow. Lucky was in it. Wow. <laughs> yeah. And you know what, like eventually, right, because, um, like, I'm gonna go down the rabbit hole. I'm gonna 
eventually i'm i, I have ff13 in my steam library i'm gonna play ff13 because like i played a bit of ff13 at my friend's house last time and i was like you know i had fun with this like a, just a little bit just starting part so i'm like you know what yeah okay yeah snow's a piece of shit but i want to see where this shit show goes i'm willing to find out so snow yeah wait what oh 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 Wait, did you have your eyes off of FF? I never really took notice of it. I was always interested. Like, never really. Like, I think it was because I saw the FF game, and I was like, you know what? Actually, like, I should look into this series, this franchise again. And I was like, oh, yeah, then I watched Adventure Girl, and then I was like, man, I wish I could play the game. Yeah, that's true. I'm when I wasn't part of the game of Thrones vibe from 16, from what I've seen so far. E Lucky, prepare yourself for the for a lot of Game of Thrones vibes. Just I'll I'm sorry to give you an impression, but like uh just be ready. I I still think that like FF16 is uh is a Final Fantasy game. I would still say it is a Final Fantasy game. It's when I think about it, it is still a Final Fantasy game. I can't think of anything else. Like it's still an FF16 experience, uh, it's still a Final Fantasy experience. I think FF16 is good in and like I think FF16, like no matter like even though I dislike the story, I like that like it was the FF14 people that came in and like brought it to life. Because like good and bad, you know, like cause there's some a lot of parts with it where I'm like, oh that's the 14 thing. And like as an FF14 players, they're like, you know, it feels really cool to see that you know right yeah yeah it's pretty much just for like you know the one show but it's you know it's like it's kind of special in a sense where it's like we i don't think we'll ever get an ff14 uh sorry an ff game like this and ever again yeah. like it's it's a i i see it as an extension of, of, of 14 and that, that's what makes me like it Like I, I can still like like the game somewhat. Right. It's to me it's like the the parts where I dislike about it is Yeah, it's it's just it just tried to do more things that like I end up having more problems with the story with its story more than like 15 story. 15 story was still like simple enough in its nature compared to like whatever themes was trying to go on in FF16. Uh, FF16's OST is pretty good. It's still like good to know that like, you know, this is a Final Fantasy game that like Soken, besides 14 that like Soken has worked on and stuff. My favorite things about FF16 is the OST and the English cast. The voice actors are so funny. Yeah, the voice actors, we were watching some like funny clips of like the voice actors. Um, yeah, they're really fun. Yeah. Yeah. Like, and also, like, there will never. Okay, okay, no, I shouldn't say these kind of things, but like, I no, I I'll, I'll say in a sense where like I really enjoyed FF sixteen Sid a lot, at least in the beginning, he was top notch. He's amazing. A admittedly, he is probably a very Game of Thrones character, but he's the. Like, yeah, he's a very Game of Thrones character when I think about it. Um, but 
Ah, yeah, he's just his personality is so good, bro. Yeah. I don't know about the later parts of the game, like whether I okay with him, like it it, it just kinda roll like stuff kinda rolls downhill like in a shit pile as it goes on. You know. Uh Well, um, yeah, it's very weird. I don't know. Uh, I don't want to give so much impressions of FF16 when like Lucky hasn't played it yet. Yeah, you know, like, no, no, no I, I, I'm telling that to myself. You know, um, like my colleague also like also hasn't played FF16, but no, no, wait, wait, she played FF16, but like she stopped and she got into like work and stuff, and she never got back into it. No, 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 the, her, 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 her friend, like, my, my teammate. Oh. oh, okay. I think, like, my teammate, uh, has, like, played it, it's just that she hasn't gotten back into it. Instead, she decided to play Unicorn Overlord, which was like, you know, you're good. <laughs> I haven't seen any character I might Oshi from there yet. Um, would there be any? I, I, I know. Yeah, I I'm pretty. Mm, mythos. Uh. No, not that. No, not no, not no. fuck not that. Holy fuck! Terrible. Terrible. I mean, it's either him or his, you know, him or, mm. or his, you know. Mm. Mm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What? Yeah. 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 Hmm? Huh? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Huh? Kagebushin. Ka- uh... What? What? Huh? The guy who can Kagebushin. Oh okay, wait no, I thought you were uh, talking about the actual like like ninja in that game or something. Oh no no. Okay. Uh I don't know. Eh, 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 nah. Combat's fucking fun. I, I don't know if I will like eventually I want to play Devil May Cry 5 and I don't know if I would suffer from it. That like I'd be like, uh I did like I'm like coming off from FF16, I'm like, oh man, the combat is like, it's gonna be like so fun and easy and like FF and, and like Devil May Cry, I'm just like fumbling and shit because like, I like playing Nier and at this, like I was like, yeah, Platinum game is cool and I played Metal Gear Rising and shit and at this, I played Bayonetta and I'm like, oh, oh god, I'm, I suck so bad at it. Granted, it's the first Bayonetta which everyone says like, yeah, that's like the toughest one. That's the toughest, like, Bayonetta. I'm like, yeah, okay, but... Oh, boy. Oh, good lord, that game. Oh, there's so much pain. And so I never continue Bayonetta 1, even though I really should. I don't know, one day. When I'm old and decrepit. Um... To change the topic... Um... After I haven't tried Bayonetta before. I mean you Bayonetta is a gem. Um I don't know about the combat. I think like the combat is really good, but like I'm too weak of a person to make good use of that combat. But I look at all the combat videos and I'm like, I wish I was that cool. Bayonetta is super fun. Like in terms of his themes and all that kind of shit, like it's really, it's really good. I mean, okay, wait, N not themes as in like in a serious sense, but more of like you know, it's a stupid, um, like Bayonetta slapping an angel like creature and angelic creature across a lap, like doing spankies and like, oh, you like that? Oh, let me give you more. And a guy that enjoy a. The angel like fucking explodes and nuts and shit. 
Like, that's the calm theme I'm talking about. And I'll be like, hell yeah. Hell yeah. I want a baby moon Bayonetta, but they keep giving me the stone statues and they're just like, Oh, what a day! I'm like, no. I'm a stupid, bad Italian man. Ah. <sighs> Very strong. It's very strong. Oh. It's called you get to the final phase on like the first two, and then suddenly you can't get through phase phase two. Oh, it really do be it there. Really do uh. be. Yeah, they're they're going through. Oh yeah, yeah. It do be like that. I'm really like not fond of like raiding anymore. It's like I don't know. It's like if I don't have a static that like is on the same wavelength and like what they want to do and like even okay like, let me talk about like like the pubs first it's like i don't want to go in pubs because like now it's kind of toxic i don't know if it's like the toxic people have left or not but even then i don't really like when there's not a lot of people playing and then i when i pf then i see the same person who was causing problems in the pre problems in the previous pf and it's a gacha every time you pf every time you pf is always going to be a gacha with like whether you get a good person or not that's why I dislike PF. Uh, and like, I can't play tanks with PFs anymore. I liked it when it was statics. Um, and then when it's static, it's like, there's troubles. And then there's also, it's like, you know, everyone. It's just, I don't like savage raiding anymore because like there's the weekly thing the weekly thing really gets me it's that rush where it's like we have to complete it's basically the thornberry rush you know like everyone must complete within a week and like i feel like if you're an aesthetic like like we want to rush because there's life commitments because we want to free ourselves from this hell but the thing is that like I can free from myself from the hell but by not doing it. Like, I want the fights to be, like the fights are fun and I want it to be fun and stuff. Like that's the part that I miss, the difficulty and all that, the fights are fun. But it's just, I don't like the repetition. Like I like when fights are hard, but like, you know, I, I get through it. Like. I bash against my head and like on the final Metal Gear Rising boss but I managed to do it within a night that kind of thing like I had fun there so like I can get the kind of like fun from other places besides FF14 so yeah and then when I think about like doing the dailies and stuff like I just lose interest already uh yeah, I don't know. So it's just like I'm at a point where like I just feel like I'm not gonna properly like play FF14 until like maybe till the next next expansion, you know. Like who knows? Like or like I'll play it when like Art Knights goes down or something like that. when I have like one less like live service game to play and it's like oh you know what I kind of need a live service game in my life it's kind of drony and then I was like look at FF14 and I was like you know what you'll do it's kind of sad it's not like it's not FF14's fault it's just like the formula is just not for me anymore I feel 
I could at some point also just like not play Art Nice. I'll be like look at it and like you know what? Because like right now even I'm not even playing Art Nice properly. I didn't I didn't max out. I didn't get all the model medals and like do the every stage in like the last event, the previous event. And I didn't reach. I haven't read through a like the last Art Nice event I've bought. I, I've read is Jessica Alters event. <sighs> It's been 10 years of service, it's okay to move on. Yeah, well, I mean, I haven't been there for 10 years, but yeah, it's just, it kind of sucks that like, you know, when I'm looking at Monk and like, yeah, I want to play, it looks how fun it is to play, I'm like, but I won't really get to really play it how it would, like how I thought about it in my head, unless it's like high end content. I mean, I could do it on EX content. Like I could at the very least like, you know, maintain like having the difficulty spike of an EX trial content, you know, like that to me is all right. Like if there's stupid people on like EX trials, I don't think it's anywhere as bad as like Savage. Yeah, I hate the time thing. I hate the time thing. Like it's the only way to balance it, but like I'm like, I hate the time thing and like it's there to create urgency and like to create activity and stuff but yeah it's like the time thing is like it's like i don't like it when like it's people are just like um one foot worth of pools and then we call it or like um three pools and we end because sometimes shit just doesn't work and like sometimes you know it's like I understand that like you want to gacha fast with PF players, right? But at the same time, like if people were more patient with one another and like actually like paid attention to like how mechanics works and stuff, then like any PF can be as, as good as a static, you know? Like they can warm up to each other and like, you know, okay, like wh where are we having trouble at? Um, do we need more heals here? Do we, is this tank swap actually doing okay? Um, is anyone having trouble calculating like the ruby quartz thing? Um, and all that. And yeah, like it sucks because like of the time demanded of Savage Raid, people don't have the time and like without the time then people get really fucking snappy. No, but I mean that's just like one experience, right? It's not gonna be like every PF all static experience. But when I think about like just even being in a static, it's like people are going to want to like play it like within four weeks and stuff, uh, which I'm like even I would because like I wouldn't want to fight like p10s like three like seven days of a week that kind of thing like it sucked it sucked savaging for like every single night that kind of thing but like it'll happen and it's because of the time thing it's because of the weekly loot thing and like i'm like starting to wise up and like don't understand why we need it because like the end game content doesn't come until like a year or half a year later like we won't need to use the savage gear until a year or half a year later so why do we need to rush for four weeks of it to get the full set like technically we don't have to rush right yeah and the thing is that like it's also the game thing is like if you say like okay like, let's take it slow and we do the fight twice a week people are gonna forget how to play the, the game and like play the fight it happens like it will happen so like even that is like it's it sucks like 
Prolonging the fight is also bad. So I don't know. It would be a lot on the game designers, but... Hmm... Nah, I don't know. No, I was thinking of like, limiting the fights to like literally just 4 minutes. Like, it's not good to do that, so because, like, you only get, like, what, 4 minutes of a boss, and, like, that's not if good, they, like... If they live in minutes, then go ahead. Why? Why? Yeah, because if you have like Tankly EX fights. Yeah. Like I'm I think it's just like, you know, just savage savage just the type of fight that it is like it's not for me anymore like i don't understand like i don't understand it like you can only find joy in it if you can do it fast if you're good enough but right now it's not that it's that everyone wants to do it even i want to do it but like it's not yeah it's just not doable Some can be shorter based on gear now, but yeah, feels like stuff gets messed up. Yeah, it's just I I can't really think of like any ways to imp it, like improve it because I think it's just me. It's just me. done with work wait i thought you were on vacation what what do you mean work lucky what are you working on it what is this a business trip or is it a vacation trip work from home taiwan edition huh nani wait some more Uh, well, eh. I I I I hope you get a good rest, Lucky. That sounds rough. Uh, it pays for your trip to Taiwan, right? I guess. Yeah. I chose the wrong date to return flight, so it's. Too many days to take leave huh oh wait oh oh you oh okay so you end up having to oh god i see all right that's i guess that's unavoidable that's oof that's a weird experience i guess
I'm glad at least you have the means to like do work there, you know. I was supposed to go back yesterday, become Nick Sweat to stay. Wow, that's the wow. That's a big that's a big gap. That's a big gap, Lucky. Oh, one week. I guess I mean well I guess huh. It is one week. Oh, yeah. Chose the wrong week. Okay, I yeah, I understand like how you made the mistake then. Yeah. Circumstances are weird, but I even then I I hope you get to enjoy your time in Taipei. Oh boy. <laughs> you know what's one thing I can look forward to FF14 is that like if I'm changing it to female rock card then I can think of like what glams to have because like I've not and I do not have any sort of glams that's like you know delicious Yeah, fam bro. It's lucky because I get to go to collect cafes today and another reserve for Sunday. Woo, yippee! Oh my god. Yeah, that's true. Gosh, Taiwan has so many collab cafes. Oh. Hey, sheesh. Uh, I'm gonna transform like a do a potato and I'm weird weird evolution. Like you've never seen before. Ace Attorney Cafe was yesterday. What? They still have Ace Attorney Cafes? Yeah. Oh, it's only an anime. What the hell? What? What? Is... what? Huh? Huh? Yeah, I wanted anything. Else. But I look at that, it's like there's no polo. There's no, there's no like people from a polo justice. And I'm like, and I'm not in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, even though you didn't have look at the film, I was like, and I saw the anime, I was like, yeah. <laughs> they're promoting season two. This is season two? I tell you, they did. What they, what they want to fucking. Huh? People still watching that? I mean, maybe, well, I mean, I will watch it actually. May maybe. May yeah, maybe. Uh, maybe it'll be funny. Actually, it's probably like really trashy like anime, isn't it? It's mixed, right? And I just think like his voice. Oh. <laughs> Yuki Kaji is a very, very good voice. Actually. Yeah, he does not Phoenix. Not Mr. Funny Man Phoenix, right? I, I think because I also heard him in like too many things. And his voice is quite recognizable. So I, I did try and I did give it a try and I was just like Yeah. Uh Well if you're looking for effort like Phoenix Wright content 14 you have to wait until after June 10th. Then you have to wait until after June 10th when I finish this piece or something. When I submitted this fully with no regrets. Either he submitted with no regret or he doesn't. Oh, I don't submit it and I regret everything. Uh, I gave Bye, so much communication. Bye, K. Take care. Have a good rest of the. Well, I mean, good tomorrow, Friday. Yay. You will try to make it. Oh, yeah. Wait, how much? How much Phoenix Rise Lucky played? Whoa. Oh, the guy. Damn. Oh, I hope you play PGAA 2 Lucky. Or even better yet, Ghost Trick. 
which is not part of Ace Attorney series, but it's a banger of a shoe tech me. Every single one of finish. Oh, Dagger can even. Oh, okay. Ghost trick. Ghost trick. Yippee! Ghost trick. Oh, oh nice. She's a Shu Takumi fan. That's right. Okay, I know I I gotta end soon because I got work tomorrow, and I'm a little tired. Actually, means recommended that. So, oh, okay. Hell yeah, you do. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I know I gotta end soon, but can't pass off on paint at least like trying to render a little bit of the leggies Wowie. oh 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 try I, I was like trying i was like is that a new expression for the kids yeah. Woo yeah, i'm like oh is, right yeah it's like yeah, it is, it woo -wah. is it. No, it's just a new, new, new thing. Yeah, it's, it, it, it is a new expression. It's not expression. It's an expression of the new thing called. Well, okay, what game is called a oh, whoa? Huh? What game is called a oh, whoa? Uh, o Ocarina. Ocarina. Watering Ocarina. orphans. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah, go trial watering waves, man. I don't know about, yeah. No, 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 no. I, I, no. I'm, I'm thinking of like, I don't know if I'm gonna continue reverse in that sense. So like, I was thinking of continuing reverse in the because like, oh, I got new characters from the gacha. I'm like, oh, they'll be fun. But I'm like, will I actually like dedicate the time? That's what I'm thinking. Like, will I actually? Dude, I'm you, thinking like you, do I even need to like I know I don't have to but like you you don't need to this But this thing I don't know if like I will go back. Like I've only gone back like I'm only playing like honestly I'm playing these mobile games because I'm purposely starving myself from playing any like console games. If there's any games on the Switch that I'm playing, like I will play the fuck out of that. Like, it's only because I'm starving myself because like, oh, uh, I want to play this game on like, on stream or like. <laughs> well, the thing is that I don't know like how much I will. So because like, like the drawing never ends. And like, I just feel like, you know, my content i mean this this i'm not i'm not saying it as like i'm regretting like oh like drawing that kind of thing like i in the end like i made this to like draw and like i'm gonna draw it's just that like i'm just lamenting like i'm just sad i'm just sad like there's no reason to fix it fix anything or like there's only no suggestions that kind of thing it's just that i'm sad that i can't have the time to play games and like there's a lot of good games and like there's a backlog of games and like i just don't have the time to play any of them like and less live service games which are good but even i can't enjoy art nights to its full potential and that's just it i'm just sad that there's only so much time in our lives. <sighs> oh, I didn't see. It. Uh, bye, Lucky. Bye, bye. I don't know if she's still here, but bye, bye. Rendering legs is good. 
Watering waves? No, rendering legs. This is where the soft brush really comes in handy. Mm. Yeah. I don't know, it's just like, it's kind of like dawning on me like when I like I take like more than a month to like complete an illustration like this and it's like I'm thinking like I haven't even completed like my splash art you know, that kind of thing. and it's not like, it's not like I can like very the way I draw stuff is like I will always have to overcome like a hurdle every single time I don't know why, even though I plan out like okay I want to draw this, that kind of thing I want to draw that it will always be like I need time because I fucked up something. It's really wise to forget. They know what they want to do. It, it, it's like that, that really is just fine. Uh, How do you think people forget? Well, people don't get fucked. But I've, I've drawn for like years. Yeah, but. And like, no, that's the thing. Like, like, even if you've drawn for years, there are still people who draw like, like, quote unquote, slow. Like, but that's not like, like, the thing is, like, even if they draw quote unquote slow, like, they are get, they are still improving each time. And after a while, like, certain things will become like, slow. Right. It, it really is just. Yeah. The more you practice. Hmm. It's just like, yeah. A lot of the times when I draw, it's like, oh, like I drawn this before. I know what not to do. Like with the plants, right? I'm like, okay, the last time I did the paint on thing, it didn't work. It didn't work for that schoolwork that I did. It, it, I didn't finish get to finish the piece in time. So I try to do this, and like, I if without the deadline extension, I would not be able to finish it in time. Also, even with this new method. So like. Yeah, I don't know. And like, if I go into another drawing like this, where it's like, okay, uh, this time I'll use 3D, it might not work. It's not say that like it will work also. It's it can be easier, but like I'm gonna take like like a year to create all those 3Ds or like all that kind of thing. Or like, right. Yeah. I don't know, like I, yeah. Like as much as you say that okay, this might sound as much as you say that you can draw it like this way, like this, but like how often do you actually draw like this? Like this? Mm. Not even ten, I guess. It's just one of those nights, huh? No, oh. Oh. Mm. Ma. <laughs> Ma. It, it be like that. I mean, sometimes it, it really just like, you know, it depends. Like, you know, like, oh, they reached 1% like in the previous time, but like, I remember like even like with Uwu, like we can reach a point where like it would be enraged, but we did it so messily. That kind of thing. Like it's only whether you really did it clean or not, uh, honestly. Like I 
like I, I get really excited when it's like oh we reached like really fast but like it kind of depends whether like it actually depends whether like how clean did you how clean did you actually reach did to reach that point that kind no, of thing because I saw it. It's not yeah that's true mm -hmm. Like yeah, I always say that. Yeah. It's best to just not hope, I guess. Uh me and Yibi have been together for only like gone through fast. They've not gone through like okay, I mean Yibi has gone through like slow slow seven problems, right? But they've never gone through a problem. Store of the mm -hmm. So like I don't know if they're mm. uh, uh -huh. yeah. Um you know, it can tell that she's he has not been Not saying that she should, but it's kind of like sometimes it just feels like, oh. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. Like I'm afraid to say, like, um, hmm. No, I'm afraid to say, like, how confident I am, like, to rate like ultimates as well, like, because like, like, even though I cleared one, it's like it's not like I was a hard carry there, so like I'm very afraid to like say these kind of things, like I did not get an ultimate experience that was literally like a savage yeah, experience Saying that it's, it's not good for you, but it's kind of like, you know, like sometimes you just gotta learn how. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think their progress with T was pretty good, right? It's really good. Yeah, it's actually like, really good. It, even if it's still, it's still faster. Like, it's still faster. Yeah. Yeah. Today is here. Day? Yeah. Not 20 days. It's not a surprise when I was just like, oh yeah, you're here and rich. I was like, wow. Holy shit, you guys. I think... Okay. okay. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I guess, yeah, yeah. Sure. Like, I got a bit... Oh, wait, is this the 20th? Okay, then, I guess, I guess we could. Yeah. Like, oh. Apparently, <laughs> I just saw mid-stream saying that oh. this is the 20th. Oh. Like, I guess, like, oh. Oh. But, like, but, but the thing is they're not that far off and you know we had less new members than they did. Right. I think, I think it's more like... Because uh, I remember like by the end, near, near the end of the year, I did get a bit frustrated because it felt like I was making like lesser mistakes and it was not new. Right. Yeah. No, yeah. Really mm. Yeah. And actually, so it's... Mm-hmm. Mid and Pink. Useful because they kind of did it. Alright. <sighs> okay, I'm really tired. I'm gonna... It's 12.30. I went 30 minutes off. Ah, uh, like extended. Ah. Uh, uh, skin rendering. Skin rendering can be fun. It kind of helps that like, I'm rendering skin that's not actually like, you know, like human skin. So like, it's kind of fun. Yeah. Yeah, human skin is overrated. Fuck that shit. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'll be going off. Um, If I stream again, it will still be art. I really want to get this done as soon as possible. There is still the background that I'm doing off stream um stream so 
I hope you guys look forward to it. I hope you guys enjoy the stream. Um, I'll try to upload this. I haven't been uploading it to YouTube. I should really upload these, but yeah, it's been, it's been, it's been. I'm really tired. I'm really tired. Thank you for enjoying the stream. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, I'm going off now. Well, my V2 model is still refuses to like. Why do I even have this anymore? Okay, goodbye. Goodbye.